In this video, we're going to figure out what the electric potential V due to a point charge is at some distance R away from that point charge. So some distance R. And let's make it big R for now. So how do we do this? Well, we, first of all, electric potential is only meaningful when we talk about relative potential. So the difference between here and here or the difference between here and some arbitrary point. And so a common convention to use in physics is that the electric potential at infinity is equal to zero. In other words, the potential as I go really far away from this charge, we say, we just call that zero or zero volts. And so this allows us to figure out the absolute potential at a given point rather than just the relative potential between two points. So how do we do it? Well. Um, we're going to calculate it from the electric field. So we know that the difference in potential between two points is just equal to the negative integral of the electric field dotted with dr. And so in this case, since, we're, since one of our points is infinity, we're going to have infinity as our lower bound, which is where we're starting, and then big R as our upper bound. Now, because we have spherical symmetry, our electric field is always pointing directly away from this point charge. And so we have some freedom as to where we can take this integral from. Um, in, in our case, let's say that this is the x-axis, and we're going to integrate from all the way over here, which is infinity, on the x-axis, all the way over to some distance away, r. So in this case, let's say that this distance is r. We're integrating all the way out from infinity to r. And so how do we calculate this dot product, this e dot dr? Well, if we're only worried about the x-axis, then e is just equal to the electric field for a point charge, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the value of our charge, or the, the amount of charge we have, q, divided by r squared. In this case, since we're on the x-axis, the distance away is just the x distance, so this is x squared. And this electric field is pointing in the x-hat direction. Now our line element, dr, because we're going along the x-axis, is just equal to dx times x-hat. So nice and simple. Now if we take the dot product between these two, e dotted with dr, because they're both pointing in the same direction, the two x hats cancel out and just give us one. And this becomes one over four pi epsilon naught times q over x squared dx. And so this is what we are integrating. And so if we actually do the integral, we can pull out these constants. So one over four pi epsilon naught and q, these are all constant. So we've got q over 4 pi epsilon naught, and we've kept the negative sign out front, integral from infinity to some distance away r, 1 over x squared dx. And if you do this integral, uh, so 1 over x squared integrates to negative 1 over x, then you plug in infinity, you plug in r. So let's do that real quick. We've got negative q over 4 pi epsilon naught, and then our, the thing that we integrated is now negative 1 over x. And we plug in x equals infinity and x equals r. So when x equals infinity, this is just 0. So this just becomes negative 1 over r. So negative q over 4 pi epsilon naught times negative 1 over r. The two negatives cancel out, and we're left with our final potential as a function of the distance away, which is q over 4 pi epsilon naught r. And this is our answer. This is the potential for a point charge, assuming that the potential at infinity is equal to 0. So that's great and all, but how do I interpret this? Well, if I have a point charge here, and then let's say I'm bringing in a test charge, let's call this Q test, all the way up from infinity, so from really, really far away, I'm bringing it to some distance away, R. 
the amount of energy that it takes me, which I'll call E. Oh, no, let's call it, uh, let's call it U. The amount of energy that it takes me is the potential as a function of R times my test charge, Q test. So the closer I get to my point charge, the more and more energy it costs me to bring this test charge closer and closer. And this kind of makes sense because this point charge is giving off electric fields in this direction. And the closer I get, the closer I get, the bigger the electric field is, the harder this point charge will push away on my test charge. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.